Welcome back to Bluebell Island for episode 20 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It is truly amazing the changes that can happen overnight, literally overnight. Um, I bought Field 2 because I went to do a contract on it and realised that had uh, sunflower in it, which I need lots of. So I bought it and that's now ready to harvest. I went up to Field 21 to do a contract on that and that had corn in it. It's a fair sized field and they're only asking 69,000 for it so I bought that as well because in filling up the pig food for overnight I realised I didn't have any corn left. So whilst I had corn in field 9 I needed more so I bought field 21. So two new fields bought but if you look at the map now, <laughs> wow, um, the fields I've just replanted 7 and 5 have both got um, uh, seven and five just here have both got sunflower in 16 and 17 I think I put soybean back in both of those yeah um, other than that every other field needs harvesting all of them all of my fields that are mine plus are the fields that there are contracting jobs available on them but to be fair there's only about five fields left to buy five or six maybe so we're well, well on the way to buying, well, buying back the island. Um, what else has changed? Oh yes, I remember. Um, I've hit 4,000 subscribers. It's just, <laughs> I, I would say this, uh, for, I haven't really done subscriber specials. Um, this is the next episode that's going to be out after I hit 4,000 subscribers. So technically, technically this is the 4,000 subscriber episode am I gonna do anything interesting or different probably not just carry on the way I am I'm not that much of a showman I'm not gonna do anything Wow no fireworks I'm not gonna buy 4,000 pigs to celebrate or anything insane like that I will just carry on as I normally do but 4,000 subscribers is amazing I'm just absolutely blown away every time I hit a milestone it just beggars belief it really does and thank you to everybody anyone who's watching this video if you're new to the channel if this is the first time watching if you've just subscribed or you've been a subscriber for a long long period of time thank you thank you so much I couldn't do it without your support if no one was watching the videos I would probably still put them out there I'd probably still make them because I enjoy doing it but it's not as much fun um, when you're getting feedback and comments and people saying they're enjoying them they've learned stuff and that kind of thing that's good so brilliant I'm glad people are enjoying them. So, what I will do is just jump into the Bureau and unload this load of soybean without going into the tank. Now, the soybean will make me some money, but once it's uh, the price has gone up a little bit again, I will be selling soybean. I'm not going to be keeping that because that's worth a fair bit. So we'll park this out of the way. The animals have been all uh, looked after overnight and I did whiz round very, very quickly and just give them a bit of a clean out. Um, I suppose it's the sort of thing that I should be doing on screen uh, just to prove I'm doing it. I'm not far off two full pallets of wool. So once this one's full as well, I'll take both of these and sell them both at the same time. So the sheep are ticking over quite nicely. Um, but I have been keeping things clean and topping them up and all the nice things you should do for your animals. They all seem quite happy. Um, I had an email from uh, Barris after my um, subcontracting episode. Um, he was very pleased and very happy. Oh, look at all the eggs. I'll collect all the eggs up while I'm here. Um, very, very happy with my work. And he said he was sitting watching the video on Tenderhooks hoping that I was going to hit 10,000 litres off that field. Um, he has said, though, the contract has been increased, so he can do it in, or I can deliver in larger bulk if I want to. What he's also said is, he feels bad about the fact the price at the docks isn't particularly great. So what he's going to do, because he owns a pig farm on his island, he's going to reimburse me with pigs. Um, he's going to send me, um, he said he'd send me 10 pigs. Um, so, at some point, I'll be back over to the old docks to collect pigs to add 
to my farm so uh, it's not payment as such but it is payment because they'll be there it will speed up the reproduction rate it will give me more pigs and eventually at some point if I want to sell any I will get that money back so thank you very much Barris very very generous now as far as jobs go today I do need to bail up the field three here and get the bales down to the dairy farm I do need to make hay bales because I'm running low on those but I do have silage in the silage bunker so I should be alright for silage for a little while but I'm definitely going to run out of hay bales um, you watching me making hay might get a little bit boring I don't know if you want to watch me making hay I don't know um, it's all part and parcel of running the farm it does need doing I haven't done it for a few episodes but it is going to need sorting out I probably need to give them this last bale of straw here so I'm going to need to take the bales off of the field there but what I did say I would do as well was a bit of logging I was going to cut some trees down um, I'm going to grab um, what's got the most horsepower for putting the trailer that would be the new I'll say the new the new old Fent yeah oh you notice I've got a <laughs> yeah this was a bit weird I thought I would test this out because that's only got a capacity of 500 litres I thought I'd stick another one on the front and then what it would do it would spray forwards hopefully and then when that one ran out it would then switch to this one the problem is if you set a worker it sprays out of that one and that one at the same time uh, I don't know why very peculiar but if I'm operating the tractor myself it does kind of give me double the capacity I know it's a weird way of doing it but it seemed like the cheapest option and the kind of more I say the more sensible option probably not sensible at all now I am going to need a front loader uh, where have I put that? Let's dump this off. There's going to be a ton of harvesting that they're going to need doing at some point. Chickens everywhere. That's two. So, where, oh where? I've got a front loader somewhere. I'm not sure where I've put it. Um, it might be around the side actually. I'm just going to need to make sure I've got the right size one on here, otherwise it's going to look a bit ridiculous. Oh yeah, it's around here. I need to get a log fork. So I need to go to the store and lease a log fork. What I'm going to do, so this will be the kind of, the 4,000 subscriber special is going to be, he'll be logging, will that go right to the floor? Oh, I'm not sure if that's going to work, it should do, um, it's going to be logging, something a bit different, I don't do that very often, I'll put a rear weight on the back of here, and we'll head up to the store to grab a log grapple, I'm going to put the big weight on here I think, for the best. Let's get up to the store. Okay. So it will be in uh, forestry, where's forestry? Forestry. I scroll right along. Ah. Oh no, it won't, of course it won't. What am I talking about? It's gonna be in front loaders, won't it? I hope so. Ah, oh, there we go, the bio belts LF180. I like that over the stole one because it's got the two prongs on the top and the two at the bottom are wider spaced. I have said that on various different let's place I've done before but if this is the first time you're watching I do like this one it is a mod and it is by toxic on um, it's a good one I do like this so I'm gonna leave it black I'm not too actually you know what 
I might get it white so it stands out a bit more. That way I won't lose it. Yeah, why not? Uh, and leasing. £160? That's outrageous. I'm okay. I can afford it. Do I want to lease it? Yes, I do. Thank you so much. Right. I'm not going to miss that. Definitely. It has proved to be a very, very good log grapple in the past, especially for front loaders. I just hope this is going to reach it. It should. Fantastic. So... Very nice. Excellent. Everything is working as it should be. So, let's go over to our mildly forested area over towards the old docks. There are trees dotted about all over the place, but generally speaking, the re these are all the knobbly hawked ones, you know, that take ages and ages to cut down, as we found out whilst working for Alien Jim and for Sanders fan on their maps. Now, I know that I had a log trailer delivered and I parked it up, but I'm not sure where... Oh! Oh ha ha! Pigs! Pigs have arrived! I hope they haven't been here long. Are they in there? Oh, they are. I have pigs! Right, um... Oh, uh, right, what do I do? I can't leave them in there. Oh, I'll just leave them sitting in there in a trailer while I go and do some logging. I'm sure they'll appreciate that massively. All this hook up with the weight on the back. Let's... Lower that down a bit. I might. I don't know. I thought I'd drop the weight off and come back. New. What if I raise it? Oh, that's way too high. Okay, right. Let's drop that down. I will get to the login, don't you worry. But what I will do. How many have we got in there? We have nine. Just going to cover off and have a look. We have nine pigs. Excellent. We've got an assortment. Pink, black and spotted. So he said he would send ten. I assume the trailer only takes nine. That's probably why. Um, we'll go with nine. And I can always collect another one at another point. Or if he sends me another batch over at some point. But let's get these over to the pig pen and get them unloaded. It does mean I'm going to have to redo all the feed though, but I'm not going to do that now. I'll do that off screen as well. Wow. Nine more pigs. I mean, they are breeding at quite a rate anyway. Um, and when I think of what I started off with, and I'm trying to wrap my brains think what I started off with, they've almost caught up to the cows and the sheep already. And I definitely had less pigs, I know I did. Isn't that terrible? What am I on? Episode 20. So 20 episodes ago, um, when I brought them over from... Uh, did I bring them over from Drummond? I didn't. I bought the money, but not the animals. I left the animals behind. Where do I need to go? Round the other side. This is a nice surprise. I've dumped some uh, sugar beet on the floor there. Uh, just one scoop. Uh, that was with the telehandler, just so I can feed them whenever I need to. So, in the shade of the trees, just drop that trailer down. And we shall unload up to 71. Yeah, they are breeding, aren't they? Let's take me up to 80. 80 pigs. Fantastic. Right, confirm. Yes. Raise that back up again. And we'll close the cover. Wow. Just, just wow. Okay. I'm not even going to look at the feed situation because it will horrify me. 
and my OCD will kick in and I'll decide I need to sort them out before I go and do anything else. I have logging to do. I can't be hanging around. Right, I'm back. I've parked up the trailer over there at the old docks and I've hooked up the leased trailer. It was over here. I thought I knew I'd put it over here somewhere. Um, it's leased and it's the BioBelts T-I-L-T, I think it's T-I-L-T 500. Uh, another BioBelt Bio Belts creation from Toxic Om. Uh, quite a few of the trailers knocking about. It's a short trailer. It's not a massive one. It's not going to be anything crazy. I'm not doing logging on an industrial scale today. But I do want to do fill a trailer up with logs and take them over to the sawmill, which is just over there. Haven't really been over there other than when I did the um, the first look map tour. So we'll get over there and we'll sell some logs. I don't think there's a mill pond unless you can tip into the water, maybe. I can't remember now. So this has hooked up onto the weight so I can do the whole thing with this. I haven't got far to go. Most of the pine trees are all here, or fir trees. I'm going to clear a bit of an area. I think I'll start up on the high ground. I just suddenly wondered, do I even own a chainsaw? Did I buy one? Probably not. So, let's put this about here. Actually, uh, yeah, because that means I can only load it one way. Oh no. It's an A-frame front axle. That didn't even dawn on me. Mm, never mind. Okay, right. Let's disconnect to that. Let's put the chocks by the wheels to stop that rolling away. I don't own a chainsaw. Right, online, quickly. Get out my mobile phone, get online, get a chainsaw and get it delivered. Sharpish. Why haven't I used for a while? Husqvarna, John Surd. I'll go with a McCulloch, I think. Don't know why, just fancy it. So, hopefully this will be delivered. Wow, that was quick. Amazing. Oh, that's vibrating. Okay, so let's pick a tree. Let's bring a tree down. Actually, I might start with a slightly shorter one. Okay, if I crouch and cut, it should fall to the left. 90 degrees to where I'm cutting. Like so. Trim this off. Take the end off. No one likes the spiky bit. I did think about leasing a wood chipper and doing some wood chips as well, but I'm not sure. I'm looking at the length of that trailer now. With the cutting this in half, it's probably it might be a little bit too short in half. Well, maybe not. Maybe not thinking out loud again. Hopefully I got all the bits off. I think so. Right, pop that away. I forgot I left this running. Whoops. Let's see how we get on. Always takes a bit of practice to get back into using this, as I recall. Noise like the smaller ones don't ping out. Come on, roll backwards. Roll backwards. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. I think it's probably a little bit too short. When I get to the bigger trees, it will be okay. And I can probably get two in here at a time, actually, in this log grab, but... Did that terribly. Didn't line up well at all on that one. I don't know, it might not be a bad length. Could be worse. Or maybe on my report it should say, must try harder. So I can do to get the opposite thick to thin, thick to thin kind of thing. If I come around the other side of this one and pick it up, we should get that whole the whole thick to thin thing going on. I got not criticised but asked if I could slow down the swing in the camera around. It was making someone feel sick. <laughs> I do apologise. It was not my intention to make people feel sick. Right, let's see how we get on. Why is this not closing? There we go, that's better. Perfect. I'm also going to need a stump grinder, aren't I? Didn't think of that. It's just shoddy. Shoddy forestry. I'm not taking my job seriously. Give that one a bit of a shove up in a minute. Okay, right, I shall continue. I think firstly let's get some more trees down. Get some more lumber on here. Let's see how we get on. This one next, I think. Why oh, is it being so awkward? There we go. This is definitely longer. It <laughs> goes on forever. Crikey. Right, okay. Let's take the end off that. This is going to be a four piece log. Oh, blimey. Look at the length of that. I'm not even sure it's going to be four. Well, let's go with about there. Crikey, I don't know. That'll do. Doesn't matter if some are short and some are longer. I'm not going to get a huge amount of money for it, let's be honest, but I haven't done any forestry on here, so let's give it a go. Right, I'm going to see you in a bit. There's only so much of me chopping up trees you, you can bear.
And so it is, that a little while later, not too much later, I've got a full load. Well, I say I've got a full load, I could probably get a bit more on here. I don't want to overfill it. I have had problems in the past with overfilling log trailers and they wobble and go all over the place and it all gets a little bit ugly. Actually, I might go on the other side and just give that a bit of a shake. Um, but that's as full as I'm going to put it, I think. And I'm going to take this over to the sawmill and see what we can do with it. Now, what usually happens is the actual trigger's too low, it won't register the logs, they won't go, I end up having to tip trailers over and it all gets a bit, a bit messy. Let's just make sure that's down a little bit, close that, like so. Hook that to there. Jump out quickly and put the straps on. Now the straps were a little bit vague. I say vague. They kind of went through some of the logs. They didn't quite go over all of them, but it'll be fine. I think there's only three on this. I'm pretty sure there's only three. Yep, but that will hold the load. Like I say, it's not full full, but it's good enough. So, let us go onwards. This feels heavy. I'm pleased with that. Not a bad day's work. Well, I say day's work, it's only not even ten past seven in the morning. Oh, yeah. That is heavy. Nice little trailer, I have to say. It's not too big. There, were, there is another little small one, which is kind of even, I think, half the size of this. It's got a little close-in double axle, I think. Um, but this is all right. It's not a bad size for this kind of size farm. It's not like I'm doing massive forestry jobs or anything like that. But for a bit of clearance work, it will do the job. I haven't been up this way for a while. I mean, I've come up to the store, but not here I always forget how far it is along here as well but nearly there So nearly there. I thought it was nearly there. Right, the whole mill pond thing, I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure I can't just... There's a little beach there, but... And the cell point's just there. I suppose I could take a chance, couldn't I, and back it up and see... Oh, I can't back it up, can I? It's one of these. One of these, look. Ugh. I wonder. I wonder. Until you've got this beach bit here. Or am I just really hoping? Oh no, that's a big old drop-off there, isn't it? Ah, it wasn't before, was it? They changed the water level, didn't they? 
I wonder if it was supposed to be part of the mill pond. Oh, never mind. Right, okay. I'm thinking out loud. Yeah, if you look, the track leads up to here. Oh, oh hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What just happened then? I got a log sold. No, don't tip over. A log sold? That was weird. Hmm. This may require some jiggery pokery. Let's see if we can. Now, I was given some great advice about this. Which I'm not obviously doing. Okay, so the advice I was given was if you're going to be moving an A frame, hooking up to the front gives you far more control because you can see what's happening and you can move the front wheels a lot easier. Now, the weird thing was, as I just did this, I sold a couple more logs. It's far easier to control. Um, this is supposed to be the mill pond. So, what I will do. Do this. Will I get any more cell? There's obviously a trigger somewhere. There. How weird. Well, it is selling. That's the main thing. So I've done the right thing. I've come to the right place. There is supposed to be a mill pond here, quite clearly, and it is much, much easier to move this vehicle or this type of trailer when you hooked front on. I'm going to keep fiddling around and sell these logs. Not quite the ending I'd hoped for, but they will sell. I wonder if it actually go to the sell point where it will register them on there. Let's quickly whiz over there. This episode's getting longer. Longer and longer as this continues. It'll probably be the same here. The triggers are always quite low, yet all the log trailers are quite high. It's weird, isn't it, how that happens? Yep. Always the way. Never mind. Anyway. Well, that's it. I've done some logging. I've got my logs on my trailer. They are selling gradually, bit by bit. I will get the rest of them off here and we will sell them. Um, but that's it. We're at the end of another episode. That's my 4,000 subscriber episode. It's not a 4,000 subscriber special or anything in particular. But I did some logging. I've sold some logs. I need to grind out the stumps now as well. I may do an episode later on where I do a bit of wood chipping because I haven't done any on here. So I might do a wood chipping episode. I'm now pondering the possibility of silos. Thinking about the new silo mod that I did a mod review on. Um, the forage and chips silo might be quite handy on here. Actually, it's going to be quite handy on every map I do from now on. So I'm considering that. But anyway, that's it from me for another episode on Bluebell Island. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you, into, if you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching. <laughs>